everyone and welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today I'm reviewing this. It's the DiGiorno 4-1 traditional crust four cheese pizza, a little bit over $3 a box. I'm really excited about this. DiGiorno is uh, probably the grandmaster of frozen pizzas these days. They, they always pitch that it's just like delivery, it's like fresh baked pizza. This is a pizza for one, only four cheeses. Uh, I opted to go just the cheese, no toppings, I didn't want to taint my palate. Just want to see what's the deal with the crust and the cheese. What do you say we get this out of the box, put it in the microwave, and see how it really tastes. So the DiGiorno for one pizza is about eight inches in diameter, at least the box is. Once again, it's a little bit over $3 a box. Now let's look at the nutrition facts. Calories, 720 calories. Fat, 30 grams of fat. And the all-important sodium, 1,190 milligrams of sodium. As, you've meant, as I've mentioned before, you know that I try to stay under 800 milligrams per sodium per meal. Uh, otherwise, I'm on a one-way trip to a heart attack. This one's 1,190 milligrams, so right off the bat, not too healthy. Now, regular pizza from a pizzeria, not too healthy either. I think once we get into some of the more gourmet freshettas and uh, California Pizza Kitchen and Amy's Pizza, they'll be a little better for you. Right now, we're just talking about taste. Now, DiGiorno, the new look, I have no idea what that means. Are they saying the box is a new look? Are they saying the pizza is a new look? Personally, I don't really care how it looks. I only care how it tastes. Let's look at the directions. Remove pizza from easy open clear plastic wrap. Flip cooking tray over. We're going to have a little cooking crisping tray. Place pizza on the cooking tray and microwave for 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Pizza, tray, just in case you didn't read the directions, it says flip over this tray, okay? Now, pizza. I would say it's about seven and a half inches wide. Um, cheese all around, that's really nice. Look on the back, it's got the grilling marks. This is in one of those easy to open plastic, so look, let's see how easy it is to open. Okay. Not so easy to open. There you go. Okay, one thing. It's perforated. We have the little scalloped edge on the side. That's how you tear that down. Doesn't really smell like anything right now, but as I mentioned, look at all that cheese. That's good. We're not talking Mr. P's here, guys. This is DiGiorno's. A lot of cheese. Crust is really thick. I'm going to get this in the microwave, and when we come back, We'll get it in my belly. The pizza has baked three minutes and 45 seconds in the microwave. I've taken it out and off the crisping sleeve. I've actually uh, cut this into quarters as well. As you can see, lots of cheese. Um, does, does look like a pizzeria pizza with extra cheese. So that I'll give, um, smells really good. It smells really good. Now, as it was in the microwave, I smelled something that seemed familiar and it seemed like it smelled like every other frozen pizza on the market. What I realized is it wasn't the pizza, it was the crisping tray. The crisping tray emits this same type of, uh, I can't even really explain it, smell coming out of the microwave. That's the crisping tray. So, so far DiGiorno's is still as unique as they say they are. Now, more importantly, let's, look at, let's take a piece off. You can see all that cheese just dripping off the side. There's a lot of cheese on here, guys. Probably why the sodium and fat content are, is so high. Um, really thick, I would say, from bottom of crust to top of cheese, about three quarters of an inch. That's pretty thick. Now, I'm gonna cut off a piece from the center and show you. Look at that, just dripping with cheese. A lot of sauce here, but the, again, the crust is uh, is really thick. Now, how does it taste? Bottom of the crust, very crisp. Middle of the crust, nice and soft. Fully cooked all the way through. 
not too doughy, but but definitely a soft pizza. Um, it's really good. I'm gonna cut a piece now towards the back of the crust. Now, this isn't one of those defined crust areas, as you can see, that's the edge of the crust. Let me see if I can get that in focus. That's the edge of the crust. There's cheese just overflowing all of it. There's the back. Yeah, that's good. As I mentioned, I haven't tried the ones with toppings yet. This is just the four cheese variety. This is really, really good. It's not great for you. It's about $3, maybe a little bit more per box. Definitely is a good size pizza for one. Uh, you'd be pushing it if you did two, uh, for two people. It's definitely a good size portion for one. This is the DiGiorno's for one, four cheese pizza. I give this four stars. Until next time, I'm Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another episode of Freezer Burns. And I'll see you next time.